I took a stroll with TJ Maxx and came across a couple of things because I'm still decorating. Um, so first, I came across these little mushroom trinket. <laughs> little. Um, I'm gonna put it on the shelf uh, where my vinyl stand has an empty shelf. I don't really love this brown here. So I'm most likely gonna get spray paint um, and paint it all this color. Cause I did see a spray paint that was this color or I'll get like a darker green um, and paint it that color. Cause I just don't love this shade of brown. <laughs> um, but I thought that the little, the top was really cute. I can always also just paint the entire thing the different color, but I really do like this green. And then I got these mirrors that I'm going to add to my gallery wall. I got two of them. Um, and it does, it is like, like a stand mirror, but I'm just going to take this back part off and then I'll have enough space there to hang them up so I'll have enough space in the back to hang them up so and these were 10 bucks 9.99 I think it's gonna look really cute on the gallery wall and then I came across these two prints so this one says intuition some wording down there and this one says alignment it has some wording and I'm gonna put it on the wall in my office I'm gonna show it where I only have like one picture right now and I'm gonna just like put these two on that same wall um, I was gonna put it in the hall but I kind of have a vision for my hall wall um, and like the prints that I want to get so I decided to add these to my office wall. So yeah, let's. this is the wall that I'm going to put these two pictures on. I think it would be really cute. I just don't know if I'm gonna put them beside this picture or like below it. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so here's where I have the mirrors. They look so cute. I love it. Okay, and here's how these two look. Really, really cute. I had to get creative and <laughs> make sure that that one stayed how it is, but it generally looks straight, I think, to the naked eye. So, but I do really like it a lot. It's really cute. So, I love the walls. I was driving past like down the street that I don't usually drive past to avoid like some traffic or something one day last week. And I had come across this uh, place called Yayo's, Yayo's Cafe. Um, and it sells like, you know, I think it's Vietnamese food um, and boba. And the closest place that I usually can go for boba where I am now is Chinatown. And if you're born and raised here, you know you don't, you'll be on the drive to Chinatown for any, like you go there if you wanna spend some time in Chinatown, but just to grab a boba or something, you gotta pay for parking or find parking. Like it's a very congested area. Um, so I've been usually just getting boba there's a place that opened up in Indiana near my folks. And when I go out there, I'll get um, a boba because I really love the boba at that place. Like it's really good. Um, and I usually get like their uh, boba coffee. A lot of the boba places, like some of them do sell coffee, but a lot of them don't, which is crazy because it's so good. But this is the brown sugar boba this is my tried and true and they also don't put a whole bunch of ice in it which i really like because i get more liquid but um let's see so let's see let's see if i'll be back
Typical brown sugar boba. Really good. The boba is nice and chewy. It's not too hard. It's not too soft. It was pretty empty too. I think it's like a newer place. So this is really good. I enjoy it. If you're in the area, Yale's Cafe. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, customer service was okay. Um, so I want to, I have to, I'm done with work for the day because it's Friday. It's summer Fridays and we get done with work at one o'clock. I haven't eaten any food. I really want to try those saucy nuggets from Wendy's. So I think I'm gonna get those. And then I have a Target pickup order that I'm gonna pick up near my folks. I have to go out there to pick up a package and I go out there every Friday anyway just to visit. So yeah, it's a gloomy day, it's rainy. I thought it was gonna be partly cloudy and no rain, but it's cloudy with rain and it's a little bit muggy. Um, but that's okay, cause it's not too hot. <laughs> to see me out today with my mask on and my forehead is just wrinkled like I'm just frowning like I'm just do understand that it's because I'm just so fucking hot and there is absolutely no establishment nowhere that I would go today that will have the air conditioner up hot enough I just know that too like, and it's so fucking hot. But I'm so frustrated that it's flip flopping with the hotness, you know? I've never been a huge summer fan. Like, I'm not someone who looks forward to going to the beaches and the pools and the, um, I have like this thing, like I'm this germy thing where it's like, I, I don't really like getting into water in public spaces because there are so many bodies in that water with you, you know? And I just, it's just something about that that really gives me the ick. Like, knowing that you're in a pool, for example, that somebody has shitted and pissed in. Like, no amount of chlorine is gonna make me feel secure enough. So when, when the summer comes around, I'm not like super eager to go to spaces where there's water and stuff like that to cool off or like beaches like I've already talked about hating the feeling of sand or 
against my body, right? Um, in the heat, I like the summer because there's lots to do and the food. You know, I love summer food. I love summer food and festivities, but the heat, the sun burning the shit out of me, especially now with global warming. I mean, we ain't never felt no heat like this before. Um, the crowded spaces, you know, the only place where you can really go is somewhere indoors where the fucking air is up, like, to the highest of notch. Or uh, water where thousands and thousands of bodies are in. Um, it's just not fun to me. I'm glad that more people are admitting that summer fucking sucks. And the best season is fall. Okay? So I am eager. I can't wait to that first leaf hits the ground. I can't wait. Plus I'm a fall baby anyway. But also fall is just better. It's just better. Um, so anyway... That's that's where I'm at today. But I mean, I didn't have any plans when I woke up this morning, and I had a very slow day, and I took my time, um, and things like that. And then I was texting my best friend, and they had mentioned that they were like had come in from the farmers market, and they were um, thinking about going back out and going to Marshalls and Ulton and like doing some shopping. And I was like, well, if you're up to it, I'll go. Like I can I can drive. So now I have plans, um, which is nice. And then um, tomorrow is the final episode of Interview with a Vampire for this season. Oh, I'm so sad. But um, I love Interview with a Vampire. Like, I was really nervous about this season because if you watch it, you know that Claudia is um, cast by a different actress. I hate change, especially change like that. The first season was so good that I was nervous that they weren't going to be able to, like, top the next season, you know? But this season has been so good. It's been so messy. So many twists and turns. Like, it is such a good season. It's so, so good. I'm so nervous. Like, we need more episodes. But it already has gotten renewed for a third season. So, that's really exciting. I hope, hopefully, we don't have to wait too long for it. But the final episode of this season is um, tomorrow. And so, my best friend is going to host, like, a watch party. Like, a very small watch party. So, I'm excited about that. Uh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see this episode. Even though I'm sad that's the last episode. I can't wait, though. And then... So we're going to do that, and I'm, oh, I can't wait to watch that show. What I'm also watching today, which is a really old show, but I'm watching Breaking Bad. I'm on, I think, the final episode of season two or the first episode of season three. Um, so that show has also been really good. Like, I think it aired, like, damn near 10 years ago, maybe more than that. And it's still a show that's, like, really good, like, today, like... Um, I feel like it kind of like holds an audience like a current audience like maybe like the Sopranos would or something but that show is also so freaking good and I know the bear is um, back and honestly I didn't get past like the first or second episode of the second season of the bear for whatever reason it just wasn't keeping my attention I think I was getting annoyed by the viewers like vouching for um I forgot the character's name they're like vouching for them to be in a relationship and that was like really annoying like I not only would that be a terrible idea like I think it would ruin the dynamic like I personally like I feel like an underlying romantic tension with them but I feel like it's more of an admiration for the people that they are my bad it, it cut off because it's so freaking hot out here that it, it cut off but what I was saying was I feel like the characters like they admire each other like maybe there is like a romantic tension underneath it but I feel like there's more of an admiration that, that the two of them share than like there being like a romantic interest right and I also read her character as significantly younger than his character so to me it's just like weird like I think it would be a mistake to make them a couple I think it will also just shift the dynamic of like the restaurant all together like all the characters like I want people to stop vouching for them to like date or hook up or something like that like I think it's best that that doesn't happen um 
so anyway i do plan to watch the remaining of the second season that i haven't watched and get into the next season watch the, the new season um but after breaking bad like i want to finish breaking bad like i want to see this show all the way through to the end but yeah so anyway <laughs> i don't know how i got on that topic but another thing that i wanted to talk about um i had come across a TikTok of this uh black woman who owns a business and she was responding to a stitch of this white woman who was very very angry that this black woman who has a business um explicitly says that she creates her art her her merchandise that she sells with black women in mind like she makes it for black women as a black woman and if you look at her merchandise you look at the website it's very clear that the merchandise is for black women like but surely it's a public platform it's a public store anybody can buy it but how it is created is in the image and for black women and this white woman was stitching and was very very angry and calling this black woman racist which white people always love to call black people racist when we can't be racist but that's a whole other conversation that i'm not going to get into look it up there have been many scholars who have explained why black people can't be racist but anyway um and yeah so this black woman uh stitched that creator and essentially laugh more than anything and there were lots of comments of people supporting her so what did i do i you know i set up my tripod and i put on my angriest face and i read that white woman of filth i stitched that video and read that white woman of filth um and i reiterated not only what the original creator said but what plenty of creators have said on that content on on, on that platform who also stitched the video because views duh no i went and i purchased merchandise i got these earrings which are so so cute like they're um like a pick and then i just got a simple like gold chain so it was very affordable our merchandise is very affordable and so i will be shopping there again why not support you know what i mean and she has very very cute stuff on her platform so yeah anyway i just wanted to share that too it, it drives me crazy when i see people people stitch um content from white people on platforms when it's very clear that they are rage baiting and they not only stitch it but they stitch it and several creators would just stitch it over and over and over again and reply and say the same thing and you're doing exactly what they want you to do instead of just ignoring it laughing it off or doing something even better and supporting the black creator involved if they're in the right, of course. But, yeah, anyway. <laughs>